so I've been studying orca for over 20 years officially, um, unofficially since I was about six years old. It's been at least 15 years studying them in the wild before I saw my first orca in captivity. And I didn't pay to see it. Uh, it was associated with a conference that I went to. You got free tickets to go and see them. And I was so devastated that I literally threw up. I, I vomited right there and then in front of these orca because I was just so horrified about what was going on with these animals in captivity. So I have become totally focused now on one little orca. Um, her name is Morgan. This is where Morgan was found, just off the coast of the Netherlands. Uh, and a lot of people say that she was stranded. That's an error. She was captured. And this is an important thing to keep in mind because there's a different set of rules and regulations for a stranded animal than for an animal that's captured. So she was very emaciated, she was dehydrated, and yes, she definitely needed help. None of us have ever denied that. The issue is that where the help came from and what happened once she had the help. There's a complete parallel to Morgan in another example with a young orca called Springer. Springer was also a young female who was emaciated, was alone, required help, was captured, was taken in for rehabilitation, but was from that point on is where the difference lies because with Springer, Springer was put into a natural sea pen and fed live fish and Morgan was taken into this aquarium, put on public pay, paying display and was fed dead fish. And the thing with Morgan was that, you know, she couldn't exhibit what's called natural body postures. So she couldn't hang vertically in the water. She couldn't breach properly. She couldn't do all of these normal natural behaviors. And we were very, very concerned about her. Originally, the mandate for the Free Morgan Foundation is to help Morgan, right? Because we have to focus on one, uh, because there's so many cases out there, but we are very, very strongly supporting Free Lolita. Uh, we've got issues with Kiska, we've got issues with Tilikim. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And, you know, somebody said to me just today, well, what about the animals that are born in captivity? They're different. And I would say, well, what about the slaves that were born in captivity? Does that make them different? Um, you know, we can improve these animals' lives. What it was like in zoos 10, 15, 20 years ago, you had these concrete boxes with these animals with nothing to do all day, pacing up and down, chewing themselves, and now you go to a zoo and even a snake gets a better life than this, right? A snake gets some grass and a little bit of a log and maybe can even go into the sun or out of the sun. What does she get? What do any of these cetaceans in captivity get? They get a blue featureless box. The only way they retire is if they die. So yeah, I'm fighting for all of them at the moment, even though Morgan is the focus, Morgan represents all of them, yeah. So it's a very, very complicated situation and I'll try and sum it up in a simple way. The court case is for Morgan against the Dutch government. If we win it, the Dutch government has to go and look at what they did. They could make the same decision and say, yes, we think she should stay in captivity, or no, she shouldn't. If they decide, no, she shouldn't, then we have to get her out of Spain. And they were very, very clever by shipping her there because now it's under completely different jurisdiction and we now have to then apply to the Spanish authorities to get her out. So in the time that this happens, Morgan's likely going to die because in captivity, the average age for an orca is less than nine years. In the wild, they live on average over 80. Yeah. So this is why it's so important that we get the world to stand up and say enough is enough. There's an amazing stand out there. I don't know if you guys saw it, all the little crosses. Over 5,500 cetaceans have died in captivity for people to make money off them. So, you know, enough is enough, guys. Let's draw the line. Let's get on this Wales Reloaded and do something. Please. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you very much.